Y'all know who it is. I'm that guy. And the first thing I'd like to say is thank you all for the recent support of my videos. But if you want to be part of those videos, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Yes, I stream on Twitch. And we're going to go live at 12 EST this Saturday. So if you want to be part of the VOD, the clip, the video, join my Twitch. And if you do like the videos, make sure to subscribe. And let's just get right into the video. Create an outdoor oasis with help from NFM. Patio sets start at just $139. Shop the latest outdoor trends and get long-term who, financing Kat, and who qualifying purchases. The video, Discover bro. the joy of backyard living only at NFM. I would put... But I'll never... I'll still never pay for YouTube Premium. All right, that we out here with... Who committed the worst crime? Ex-cons ranked themselves. Now, chat, let me ask you a question, man. What is the worst crime? What is the worst thing you've ever done? All right? This is a safe space. You can put this shit in the chat. All right? You know, this is a safe space. But let's just get right into the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the video. Put you at the front. I didn't hurt anybody during a robbery. <laughs> you, you did, It's though. her opinion. That's traumatizing. You probably gave someone PTSD. 100%. I did. 100% I did. So what is that? How many people is that? I tried over 100 people. But the... Okay. Uh, go back. Just, just go back. Just go, just go back. Just go back. Listen. What did you do? To skip um, stealing story, go to 337. You know, not to incriminate myself, but like... What is the... Bro, what is the biggest... Like, what is the worst thing I've done? What is the worst crime I would say I've done? Um, I'll say steal. Steal, yeah. Stealing is the worst thing I've done. Um, yeah, I, I ain't no kleptomaniac, but stealing, uh, maybe fighting if you want to consider what did I steal? Shit, bro, that's crazy. What did I? Bro, I've I've stolen um bro, when I was in school, bro, I stolen somebody's Nintendo DS. I've stolen money. I mean, it wasn't really stealing the Nintendo DS because I found it and and bro, homies like I was actually trying to look for the person who um who owned it, but the like there was like five other people. You know how school be oh that's mine that's mine that's mine like five of the people came up i said i just charged it i was just like no nah, i'm taking this shit um i'm stealing money i've actually stealing money from like um yeah i've stealing money um in items just random items i would take i would, like it's not like it, it wouldn't be like i wouldn't have the money to pay for it but it would be like the prices would be like it was it was like asking me to steal, you know, like if I have he if you're char if you're gonna charge me sixteen dollars for headphones, you're basically telling me the only way I'm gonna get these headphones is if I just take them off you. You're not I'm not paying you sixteen dollars for some wired headphones, bro. It's just not happening. I don't know. <laughs> what about you, Mia? What would you you I what, what you do? <laughs> These two Jack is in the joint. Uh, you got a picture over here. Come on up. Uh, yeah. You. In between. Something about you. But so I think I there's go? a little violence there. You stay right there. <laughs> right put me about. I swear. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I saw. Get in here. I think the girl at the end is probably unsuspecting. You'd probably be over here a little bit more. I would put you towards that side because you don't look like you've done anything too crazy. Too crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah, she yeah. looks innocent. I'd come to you guys' side. Quiet ones always did a lot of times, so you haven't said a word. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're probably in the right spot. I'm just thinking. I'm trying to think it's like a yeah. switch with pops. Come over here with me, pops. Okay. I'm really well, trying. I'd agree with that. Something Kat, what about do you, it. Chat. What do you think they did? What do you think they did before we get into the crimes? We already heard this man. He be stealing. He be robbing. Robbery. Yeah, it is what it is. You that I'm, I'm puzzled about, you know, the tattoo, the way you talk. I'm not sure about you down there, you know. <laughs> You're going to move over here. All right. Bro, I know some of them sell you drugs, to... but I feel like it's going to be most of these people got locked up for selling weed or Nick or Let something me... like that, bro. Okay. Some weak Let shit. Let me see those tattoos. I ain't I'm not saying drug dealers are some weak. 
on some weak shit, but bro, you selling weed and shit, that's some weak shit, bro. You you better be like my man over here robbing banks and doing meth. Maybe she got with a real one, Mia. Maybe I was wrong because robbing banks and doing meth seems like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me see him. Mm -mm. Those are done on the street. Here. This yeah. is present over here, right? Same over here. Those are right street here. tall guy with the hat. That's a drug charge. I put, that on, I put that on least serious. Least if it was serious. Me. I'm with you. That is least. <laughs> yeah. right. It's drugs. Who cares about them? Let's see. Anybody did enough time to? If you if you if you got caught doing drugs, that's 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 trippy, bro. That's trippy. That's even worse, bro. If you get sent to jail for doing drugs, boy, you you a uh, the worst crime I did was stealing, and I was like. The worst crime, I'm a, I, I know I said this was a safe space, but that's how I get you. <laughs> that's how I get you. The worst crime I did was stealing when I was like 14. I stole uh, Louis V. Whoa! Whoa! See, see, I wasn't, hey, I wasn't stealing nothing I couldn't pay for. You know what I'm saying? Like I had the bread on me. I just didn't want, you stealing Louis V. Perfume. From the be from my best friends, oh, you see, from y'all, it be your it be your own blood that be taken, bro. It be the own blood, your best friends. Okay, let me read this out. The worst crime I, the worst crime I did was also stealing. When I was like fourteen, I stole Louis V perfume from my best friend's mom. A week after that, I realized the perfume was about six hundred. Bro, I, what you mean? No, you realized, bro? What you see that L V on the box? That means two. That's that's money, bro. That's money. What you mean? Oh nah, you you a criminal, criminal. I ain't never stole nothing six hundred dollars worth, bro. I think I don't even think all the shit I'm stealing amounts to six hundred dollars. Face tattoos. Mm. I actually got a what face tattoo. Oh wait, <laughs> right here. Oh, it's covered up. You cheating? Sometimes, like I'm telling you, there's that twerk. You're like a serial killer. Nah, right? yo, yeah, yeah. And your your best friend mom gonna be like, she gonna be like, I told you, I knew she was no good. I knew she was no good. Your best friend mom been talking about you, and you just don't know. She gonna be like, I knew it. I knew it. She gonna be like, oh, it's just You know, it's like, I, I would have a drink with you. I'm just <laughs> sure. You gotta go up there right now. You get me a little nervous. Which that? Over, all the way, all the way, all okay. way. Pop, you stay right there. You I can't don't think she me. did that much uh, of a serious come crime. On. Think my head. Okay. Yeah. I think the last two should switch. I think he probably did the worst crime. She did the least worst crime. Mm. By appearance, that's just my opinion. <laughs> she looks very like angelic, Sarah like Taylor. innocent to me, <laughs> and he just looks more rugged, like he's willing to do something a little more dangerous. In she my did opinion. Time. See her hand tattoos? A, the, she's like that nurse that killed somebody too. else. <laughs> you know, that killed with the, the stuff. You think everybody killed somebody, <laughs> man? <laughs> when I was in prison, a lot of the dudes that were in there for serious crimes didn't look like they were yeah. in there for serious crimes. If they looked like like the typical dude you would see in an office, I was like, that's a sex offender. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd put you on like a bank fraud, forgery, burglary type of scenario. You've done time, but you've done lots of different uh, stretches of time. Nothing crazy all at once is my guess. Mm. Same. A lot of people who did like really serious crimes, they end up finding their zen in prison. And so they'll just be this like calm or- Or they go back and they keep doing it. Career or About them or they've done so much time that they don't readjust well to the world. Mm. And then you catch an air of like, you know, that PTSD, that anxiety oh, yeah. of people. Mm. And when people did a violent crime, that doesn't really tell you yeah. huh. anything about up. their life. Cause that can be a five minute accident. But when people have drug crimes or identity theft, that's usually indicative of their lifestyle. I disagree. Hold on. Hold on, let me let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to wind up who got who did what. This man, he was selling drugs. He was selling drugs. He's an old man, you know what I'm saying? Old heads, they don't be doing this bank fraud bullshit. They don't got the time to be learning the new technology, you know what I'm saying? Old heads just be doing the the regular smegular crime of selling 
selling drugs. He was selling drugs. Um, shoot, what was she doing? She was also selling drugs. I think a lot of these people were selling drugs, chat. She was also selling drugs. But she wasn't selling the good shit like he was selling. This man was selling meth. He was selling, he was selling fent. You know what I'm saying? This is the meth and fent head. This is the dude you go to weed because he ain't doing shit. He a pussy criminal. That's what we call a pussy criminal in the pen. You know what I'm saying? He don't. He ain't even go to. He even go. He ain't even go to the old damn jail. He went to uh, detention. You know what I'm saying? These people went to detention. You know what I'm saying? They ain't go to jail. They ain't go, No police came up to them. They had. They called their mom and pick them up. Pick their phone up after school. Um, what else? What else? We got man with the beard right here. What he do? What he do? What he look like? He do? He look like. He look like um. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he did. Okay, okay. This man, he went to detention for smoking weed. He was selling. He was selling fent. This man was selling fent. She was selling Adderall. She was selling Percocet. Um, what what was Morgan doing? What was she doing? She, she was, bro. What was she doing, bro? She was. Oh, um, bro. I don't know. I feel like she was either... She did a Bitcoin scam. She scammed people on Bitcoin. She looked like she might be one of those... Um, not... It's not a crime crime type shit. Like, she just went to jail for fighting you know, If somebody. you're apt to, vi to be violent, you're going to be violent. I think, I think a lot of these people went got drunk and they just fought somebody. These two fought somebody. He robbed... She, I don't know what she did. She probably raised her voice at a police officer. And it's not like a snap to kill the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. No, you know, it's in you to kill the motherfucker. I right. was in women's prison, so violence they is a crazy last... crazy bitches in there, you know. The man right. the blue? I mean, uh, there's mm -hmm. girls who killed their abusive boy. Him? This guy? This guy right here? This guy? He, uh, Rob the gas? He looked like the type. He looked like the type. He looked like the type to rob a damn... Gym for the protein powder. He he looked like the type to to rob a gas station with a dumbbell. You know what I'm saying? Boyfriends, right. though. Absolutely. I mean, that was most of the murders that I saw. There you go. Right. Get over there, what? man. They gotta <laughs> switch this. <laughs> she said that. Yeah. Yeah. But the walk, the walk is giving it up. She on she ain't this shit. She ain't this shit. The walk. When you walking like this, you ain't this shit. That's the walk of I ain't this shit. Uh, <laughs> you got I'll throw that box too. Yeah, you get your feet in that box. Mia, Mia, Mia. I ain't gonna lie. Me and you, man, we we, we done more shit than these young bucks. You know what I'm saying? We done more shit than these people up in this damn lineup. So no, 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 no. You gotta go over here. This guy went down when he was young. And he's changed. He's not the... He looked like he stepped on a crack and broke her mama back. Look at that. She looked like she stepped on a crack and broke her mama back. That's the type we that's the type of criminal we looking at, bruh. We looking at somebody stepped on a stepped on a line and broke their daddy's spine. Look at that. <laughs> the same guy he was when he went down for something when he was 17, 18, 19. I see personal growth on this one. Hmm. Which I think means you did something serious. Come down here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Young lady right here should move over. You got the spider web on your elbow. You know, it's, 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 it's giving me them kind of cartel vibes. This guy here, cartel, though. Cartel, she ain't no damn cartel. She ain't no damn cartel. She looked like she got, she, she got caught cheating off somebody's homework. <laughs> Looking at that. Looking at that. Nah, I think she went and sold some uh, uh, prescription drugs, man. I think she went and sold some prescription drugs. Or she got caught for medical malpractice. That's what it Might was. have done a lot of time, but I don't think it was for that serious of a crime. No, he was selling fence. Fence serious, bro. I get like 70s dope case off you, or maybe. Mm -mm -mm. He was selling fence. He wasn't even selling no dope. Maybe like environmental terrorism or. Environmental terrorism? This motherfucker ain't no. Don't give a shit about no environment. Uh, why are they collaborating when people think you did a bad crime? This is what you call snitching. This is what, like if I, me personally, I'm not going up here if I did nothing serious, because if it was lucrative enough, I'm still doing it. I ain't gonna hold you. 
Why are they collaborating when people think you did a bad crime? Yeah, I don't know. They doing it. They doing it for clout, man. Honestly. Or some of like you know the radical. They they make this this motherfucker ain't no damn radical. This motherfucker so fed. Cool stuff. The real radical stuff that was happening in the '70s, because I see that like political. They ain't no edge. They ain't no political edge. See, I told you. She got she she went to she went to uh she went to she ain't even go to jail, bro. She went she went to time out. Motherfucker, she ain't go to no jail. She went to time out, bro. She went to damn, bro. She was what was she doing, bro? What was she doing, bro? She probably pushed somebody. Edge to you, maybe. So I would put you down at least to the right of the guy with the hat. This ain't no damn. Mm. Nah, he's he's, got a, what does she think this is a Black Panther? This ain't no damn Black Panther. Murders, bro. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, he's a psychologist. Trust me, he's got a body. This man ain't got no, yeah, he got a couple bodies, but he so thin, he didn't kill nobody. I have no idea why they so come out. So we have out our two women over here on the head of the most serious. Because women are... Nah, women typically don't do shit when it comes to crime. No cap. I'm not trying to be no sexist shit, but either women, women go on two different spectrums. Either they don't do shit or they do the most egregious shit known to man. They did, like it's not like a spectrum. It's like a two-ended series. They either they either killing no one or killing everybody. That's the Morgan killed her barber for cutting her hair. She probably did. She probably did. That could be the that could be the cause. That could be the cause. Morgan killed her barber for cutting her hair. Not like that. I mean, or they could be snakes. Honestly, they could be tough. And not those shank if they have to. I mean, they'll do what they got to do. Honestly, damn, that cut. Hold on, go back a little bit. They could be tough. And not those shank if they have to. I mean, honestly, honestly, the cut, the cut. You know, I drag that dog through the streets. With if they get me a cut like this, I drag that dog through the streets. Cause this shit, you you saw that cut and you let me go outside. So honestly, I was dead before I'm shit. You out here all I mean, do, do what they gotta do. And listen, bitches are bitches, man. This gentleman over here has had some bad experiences with women. <laughs> Clearly he <laughs> looks traumatized. <laughs> he is. Just about nothing. But on the spectrum, men are the like prevalent in killing doing crimes. He says about women aligns with my experience in prison, where almost everybody was there for less serious crimes. Killing their baby. That's what I said. Like less serious crimes, mostly. Sometimes you got them outliers that be going killing people. Mass nah, man, they were fighting back back against abusive oh, men. Oh, don't get in that conversation. Might be don't get that conversation. What's going on over bullshit. here? They hit you first, and then they say, "Oh, man." He hit me because he's a big. That bitch hits me. I thought I hit her like a man. You okay, know, proving like, my point right here. <laughs> no, because it's just about society. Listen, if a bitch slaps you, what are you supposed to do? Slap him back. Call Thank you, sister. Pop, man. You in the old school. Listen, I'm not going to abuse her. I never hit a woman in my life. This gentleman over here, he interrupts people a lot when they talk. <laughs> so he doesn't have that respect. <laughs> Told you, bro. She ain't going to no jail for no serious damn crime, bro. She ain't going to no jail for no serious crimes. She went to jail for them talking over the teacher looking at. Respect value that people, or, so there's, there's two ways this could go, or you were high up on the food chain. So I think you. Yeah, she ain't going to no jail, bro. She went to time out. She, they told her to sit in the corner and think about what she did looking at. You did did. But honestly, Mia, she might have killed her barber. I would have bids, bids. Because you were never there long enough to get either that Zen or You always talking about this bullshit Zen. There ain't no Zen, bro. You were you were always getting in fights. You were on these short bids and you were always getting in fights. Okay, okay. she ain't she ain't get she, so she don't tussle. She ain't no tussler. I can already tell. You could you know how you could tell a fighter by their eyes, bro? You could tell if you're gonna punch them in their face and 
you know how they're going to react. You run your mouth. I like this. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. There's obviously more boisterous characters. And usually, from my experience, the louder they are, typically the less serious in crime. It's more of like a, their bravado and their... And, that's not my style. The dude with the Nike shirt on, I think he's secretly down here somewhere. That's my guess. Where am I? Where Bank I'm at? fraud dude is, is down yeah, here as well. Yeah, I think well. he's up here a little bit more. I think, I think you're over here. Well, you're I don't think a single one of them committed bank fraud. I'm not going to hold you. I don't think a single one of them committed bank fraud. You're okay. right here, actually. Yeah. I, it, the way that I rank drug offenses is on like the lowest scale. Of, I just don't even think it should be illegal. So I still think this guy is has dealt with some addiction issues and went to prison on that. I put Zane down. To oh my gosh, being an addict don't don't make you a criminal, bro. Towards the end, because I think he was just on drugs and kept getting some dirty ways and went to prison. What do people who have struggled with addiction look like? She went to jail a damn day in her life, chat. She went to jail a damn day in her life. She went to jail a damn day in her life. I don't think she'd be outside. I don't even think she'd be outside. What are you talking about? What do people, what do addicts look like? Bro, it's a mix. Us. It's a mix for sure. Everybody. Everybody struggles with something. So, and listen, they should or whatever it is. You two are serious as well as this guy right What's here. What's up with serious? You're and up And I there. think you're down here. No. That's Where? my guess. Um, I'm from uh, St. Thomas, the Caribbean, Virgin Islands. What about you, Mia? Yeah, yeah. me too. I I would say you're down. Down. I'd yeah. say you're I'm telling you, I'd you need to put you here. Right here. I, I think the walk, the talk, the everything. This is a person that went, did five minutes in timeout and became, and now she's talking all this revolutionary bullshit. You two are, have done serious time, especially you. You've never, you haven't said a whole lot, and I know you. You probably did something serious, is my guess, because you just handle yourself. Yeah, a little yeah, I object, but that's at the end. Bank fraud and and uh, and you, I think that could be a switch. But I know you don't. You, I think you're in that somewhat serious one. range. Nah, this man sold fent, bro. I currently live in Austria. Austria. Holy shit! I'm I'm surprised this shit came out to you. Austria. What the hell? I think he needs to come here. I'm next to you. I I and I think that'll lock it in. You guys sure? Nope. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> We're gonna lock this appearance right here. There's some kind of misunderstanding. Well, you're American. Oh, what Dang. kind of American are you? You don't know? Chat, I ain't gonna hold you. These unskippable ads, but I still ain't gonna pay for YouTube Premium. We are EF Ultimate Break, the best way to see the world for anyone 18 to 30. Each ex-con can now reveal the crime and what they were charged with. Um, I was charged oh, with. Oh, not Austrian. Okay, okay. I was about to say. I'm like, damn. Damn, I don't know how this shit got out to you, man. Misdemeanor DUI with injury. I was... DUI, what is that? Uh, I don't know, being drunk? Charged with delivery of heroin. Con delivery of heroin, damn, I was... Conspiracy to distribute heroin and drug delivery resulting in death. I was... I was all... Charged with burglary of a dwelling and theft. Damn, you are right, Mia. You are right, this is a thief. This is a thief. You know, I, I was surprised. I, um, I, I didn't, you know. I, I was charged with organized fraud and grand theft. I was charged uh, with the RICO for armed robberies. RICO. A RICO, racketeering influence and corrupt organization. Act and RICO. More. I was charged this with... Man had a, this man had a crew. This man had a crew. I'm half Swedish, half Swiss. Oh. Oh. Half Swedish, half Swiss. Man, you got you got the Swiss, the Swiss, Swedish. What is a Swiss? Swiss got meatballs. I know, I know Sweden. The conspiracy they got meatballs. traffic trafficking, and Rico for can I, cannabis. Oh, uh, bro, cannabis. I thought it was fent. I was charged. So this person is the one with the fent, not this person. This is where Damn. aggravated assault, attempted murder on a witness, murder, uh, conspiracy, and gun charge. Oh, this one. I, I was completely oblivious. I, I, I don't know. If... Uh, 
You got to go pop, least serious. Come you got to go down to the switch end. He's got to go all switch the way to the her. end. She's got to go pop. up there. I think she should go. Hell no. That's, oh, that's heroin. True. Sweden and Switzerland. Sweden and Switzerland got meatballs. Damn. I know Sweden got that Swedish meatballs, bro. Switzerland, what what kind of meatballs y'all got? You gonna make a collab? You gotta make the meatball collab, bro. I think that that's been something in the making. A lot of people really, you know what I'm saying, really need that collab. The Swedish Swiss meatballs. I don't know what you're gonna call them. That's gonna be a tongue tie, bro. Second, because yeah. her crime injured someone. Just, I, think I can't even say that shit together. Sweden, Switzerland, nah. I think you should go third. That shit's hella bad. My personal thought is, this was an bro. accident. Dude gets high or drunk, crashes, it results in an injury, which sucks. It's and it's not a an intent behind that. He, he wishes that day didn't happen. You'd but made that's, a choice. That's what I'm saying, that's least serious. You made it, exactly. So, so you're, you gotta get back I here. I think you're back yeah, over here. You I think you, here. personally, if you take a gun or a weapon and try to rob someone, armed no, robbery okay, is serious. Yeah, that's, serious. that's like, you, you that's make the wrong move and dude's dead. So I think yours is a lot more thought out, bad idea. I think I'd put you over uh, her heroin. Heroin. Yeah, heroin. In my opinion, heroin is not a big deal. So I'm with. You. I'm. Per heroin is not a big deal. Heroin is. Oh, hi. Right. Personally, I'm like, okay, drug people, you're down here. I. Weed is down there. I don't think heroin is down there. I don't think heroin and weed are. Art. I think what the intent, that is what criminal law should be based on. Willful behavior. Accidents, that's a different thing. Because you didn't like get behind the wheel of a car and said, today's the day I'm going to hurt someone. Right. But if you think about serious, this could be an accident, but it's a really serious accident and five people get killed. An accident of a truck driver slam and kill you. That's, that's serious. Right. Robbery, what was right? yours? Yeah. Organized fraud. A Organized fraud. fraud. You're going down there. You're, you're over after the guy in the black shirt. This is, this is good, right here. I still, so fraud, in my opinion, is worse than yes, drugs. absolutely. So yeah. this girl's got to come in front though. of this girl. I'd agree with that. You still, I don't think fraud is worse than heroin. I feel like fraud is, like, on the same level as weed. Like, who's going to hurt by fraud? Along in the front, like, all the way up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I still agree you, with that. You need to go to number one. For real? No, number two. What? What? Heroin? To number one? Hell no. This dude murdered somebody. Actually murdered somebody. Heroin is not Two. number one. Yeah. That, I yeah, agree with that. Because I wholeheartedly agree. You should not have been Some, delivering drugs. Okay, but what about all the times that I overdosed, but you someone was there the to Narcan me? Okay, so then you just admitted that my choice to use drugs was my choice. Right. It, it is a choice. And therefore, my responsibility. I understand. Is it Morgan a man, by the way? No, she is not a man. She is a woman. I know, I know, I know. Chat, me, I've become an expert. My mother in died of a drug Um, you know, people. Those two, hey, she shouldn't have been doing drugs. I think that your crime is terrible. Like, you shouldn't have been selling drugs. Yeah, but selling drugs is not as bad as me shooting somebody and killing them. So I think you belong in number two. Number two? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. You just want to put her up there because, bro, she, bro, no, bro. Murder, robbery, robbery again, and then heroin. So you bro. think, you think drugs are a serious do. crime? I do. Okay, that, that's just a matter of how we grade seriousness. Drugs to me is not serious, so I think opposite. Same. Robberies, uh, guns, murders, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. A little bit hard. That's serious. Her no, that's choices hard. killed Me, someone. No. Yeah. I mean, not really. I mean, yes, but yes and no. Uh, when ad autonomous adults consent to the risk in the behavior they are engaging in. And under that, I would actually be less serious than him because the person he hit did not consent to the risk. They were out walking or driving their car. They weren't engaging in a dangerous behavior. I'm with you 100%. And fraud, that's way worse than... Yeah, it is. I'm willfully going switch. to get drugs. Yeah, I think this is switch. I think this I is switch. I don't, I don't agree with that. Yeah, you, you guys are drugs are just drugs. I don't agree with that. Switch, Every yeah. drug should be legal. Yeah. I don't care about fentanyl should be legal. If Every people, drug. If Yo, 
take away take away Unk's mic, bro. People it's can get choice. fentanyl from a pharmacy, they wouldn't die because right. they would be able to dose. Right. Fentanyl is in every hospital every single day. Yo, no, cause when she got when she wouldn't sell anything, then the customers wouldn't have bought it. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. She, this girl, like, I'm, I agree with you, bro. Like, this literally makes no sense. Like, you're saying what she did caused somebody's death. They would have died anyway. I'm not going to, I'm not saying they would have died anyway, but I'm saying, like, they would have bought the drugs. You think if Morgan stopped selling drugs, drug addicts are going to be like, I guess it's time to get sober. And you're like, no, no, a drug act is always going to get drugs, bro. Don't matter where they're going to get it from. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, she might have caused indirect death. Comes with the territory of selling drugs, you know. But going out on a mission to murder somebody is way worse than selling drugs. They, people opinion. don't overdose and or die. Or rob from... somebody. Because if you rob somebody and you, robbing somebody is way more, like, like, but they said in the beginning, traumatizing then. Fentanyl in a hospital. Why is that? Because people know their dose. You can be precise. Mm. The issue, why people die from drugs is drug prohibition. That's it. I know that. To me, it's not serious. It's a choice by everybody involved. Obvious, the guys who used violence in any one way or another, it's serious. So I think this is pretty looking good. So I would put all drug crimes as the least serious, then accidents of whatever kind, even if they resulted in injury or death, then willful behaviors that are like nonviolent that didn't hurt someone. Your like, drug distribution wasn't willful? This is like, I mean, I don't think prostitution should be illegal because that is consenting. If it could be regulated, there wouldn't be abuses. There wouldn't be pimps. Right. Can't die right. for, having, for consenting right. to have sex, but Bro. okay. But it's a consensual transaction between adults, and but it's there the, is it's risk. But it's illegal. Are you saying that the criminal law, as written in the United States, is infallible and perfect? No. Because, like, being a lesbian could have got me sent to prison in previous decades. Cr law is criminal law is a construct, a social construct. It varies by county line. How arbitrary is that? That the side of a county line you're standing on could be the difference between probation and 20 years. I'm agreeing. Anything time you got a choice to do what you want, How but it's a choice. Everybody has choices, man. You got to stay illegal. Hey, hey, you know. Hey man, some of these some of these people just give it out for free. You know what I'm saying? Some of these people give it out for free. Shit, boy. Some they say, "Hey, fuck it, I fucked up." Some and change. Be hoes for if the you want free you don't want to change. That's that's your own business, you know. But you can do that. Is what I'm getting at. Can, Only your locally your owned company that dealer has illegal. genuine parts, accessories, I can see your point. trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry leading. Oh, they sure there's okay. They're still not to disclose their sentence and time served until the final reveal. Does it really matter time served? We're we're doing we're doing it based off we're doing who committed the worst crime. So it's not really I don't think time served really has a factor in the severity of the crime. When I was a kid, I was you know a little street dealer. I moved up and uh, I wound up moving to Florida, and it was closer to Columbia and Jamaica. My main thing was to figure out how to get cannabis from there to here. And um, I wound up, you know, doing, doing a couple little um, airplane deals, then big boats, and then bigger airplanes. And it just wound up just getting completely out of hand, you know. It was nonstop for years and years. Hundreds of thousands of pounds of cannabis, actually. And then, uh, you know, I got, I got arrested. I actually, I went away for a couple of years and got out and then got arrested again. I was set up by a friend of mine. He uh, had owed me some money for an airplane that he had stolen from me and crashed. And uh, that's how he, he put it together with me to- Yo, bro. It'd be your own setting you up, bro. It'd be your own setting you up, bro. Are you serious, bro? So you gonna send me to jail because you can't drive, bro. That's what we talking about right now? You gonna send me to jail because 
you, when you still owe me money, I don't think you understand the the problem you we running into. You still owe me money at the end of the day. Your best option was to die in that plane crash. I hate to say it because you should have like you sending me to jail. Now it's pissing me off, bro. It's not solving your situation. To to get me into doing it because I told them like four or five times, no, I don't want to do that. No, you know I'm done with that. Three years in prison was enough for me, you know? He kept hounding and hounding at me, and I wound up borrowing some money from some people that I shouldn't have. And uh, when they wanted it back, that's when he, he got me to, to conspire with him. A reverse sting mm. is what they called it. You know, where the, where the police set you up. Mm. And that's when they had a hold of me real good. I made all my time in prison good. I didn't waste any time with anything that I did in that. I tried to stay positive all the time I was in there. I tried to help as many people as I could, you know, especially youngsters. And I would try to get Damn, them out of what minutes. they were doing. Um, so when I was 19, I had just Yo. gotten prescribed Xanax uh, that day. Um, so I ended up taking 15. And... Um, I had gone to sleep and then woken up early in the morning to drop off my friend at his house. Um, when we pulled up to the first stoplight, I actually fell asleep. And he had woken me up and asked me like, if I wanted him to drive. And I told him, no, I'm good. I can drive, I'm perfectly fine. Um, probably no less than like a minute or two later, I was going down a hill and I hit a tree and flipped my car. Um, we were both not injured from the car accident, um, but he ended up getting an injury from kicking out my windshield. He had scratched up his entire, like had to get stitches on his leg. And that's why it was an injury with, a DUI with injury. Um, so my best friend and I, we both got into Oxycontin and then they cracked down on Oxycontin prescribing. So all of a sudden it was like $100 a pill and people were scrambling and we switched to black tar heroin. That's a, that's, I don't, I don't know, yo, me, I don't know the level of drugs. I don't know how drugs work, like the highs and things of this nature, but it seems like a, a leap, you know, a, a big ass leap to go from Oxycontin, which is an opioid, to black tar heroin. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, and, you know, it took a few years before I actually got like real bad in addiction. Like both he and I, we wanted a better life. Like we didn't want that, but addiction is hell, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and in that time, my friend Justin, he was going to jail and he got out. He was trying to do the recovery thing, but he just, couldn't manage it, so within a couple months, he relapsed, and he texted his drug dealer uh, to deliver him a gram, and on the way to deliver it, his drug dealer uh, got a flat tire, and he knew that I lived with the drug dealer, and so that night, he was gonna be dope sick, and he had to go to work in the morning, or else he's gonna violate his parole, and so, he is community describing a painful physical or psychological agony associated with the experience of quitting drugs. He texts me asking mm. if I could middle man a gram. And I did. He came over to my apartment. I asked if he wanted to stay and hang out. And he said, no, no, I got to work in the morning. And uh, he left. And because he was right outside of Multnomah County on the Washington County line, he overdosed and died that night alone in his bedroom. And Washington County at that time was treating overdoses like murder. And so they raided my apartment the next day and charged me with drug delivery resulting in death for my best friend's death and against the wishes of his family who repeatedly tried to get them to drop the case. You know, they always say like, oh, but what about the victim? So in this case, his mom was listed as my victim and she's going to court opposing the prosecution and writing a letter on my behalf at sentencing. But victims' voices only matter when they align with the punitive interests of the prosecution. So Justin was a criminal while he lived, jail, jail, prison, prison. 
and the first time he was ever treated as a victim was after he died. And then all of a sudden they had over a million dollars to prosecute and lock us up. But they didn't have money for treatment while he lived. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a fast movie. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Flexible with financing for vet care with care no credit. Idea. If you find him, he's mine. Furiosa. Yo. Um, when I was 18, I was living on my own. I had a two year old daughter. And I was approached by my sister. Let's do the math. 16. Wow. Wow. Sister, and she told me that she had an opportunity for me to make some money. Um, I would get paid $10,000 for every 40000 that I would withdraw from the bank. Um, I agreed. Chat, chat, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If somebody came up with you with the opportunity, they said, hold on, bro. All you got to do is withdraw this quick 40 and you can keep 10. How much? Like, let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how, how hard are you tempted just to keep the whole 40? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, damn, bruh. Like, damn, bruh. Like, you know how the temptation, the loyalty has to be there. Because... Mad them would run off with the whole 40. Because I was naive. What I had to do was open up uh, a bank account, and in turn, she gave it to the people that she was working with. They added my information to a millionaire's account, and they were transferring money from his account into my solo account. I found that out afterward. I didn't know how the money actually got in my account before this. And um, when we got there, I was instructed to, at the first bank, to take out um, less than $10,000 so that the red flags don't go up. There was two men and they were the drivers uh, driving me and my sister. I also had my two-year-old daughter with me. Um, at this point, I, did, I didn't even know I was committing a crime. Um, Yo, I, okay, I'll, I'll give you a break because you 18, but what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? There is no way, bro. I'm 20, bro. There is no way somebody's going to come to me at 18. Yeah, I'm 20. There's no way somebody's going to come to me at, like, 18 talking about, I know how, a quick, anybody that says, I, I, I know a quick way, oh, oh, you got to do this real quick, anytime they have quick in the sentence, it's illegal. It's all, when it's talking about money and and swiftness, it's illegal. What they're going to do is illegal. There's no legitimate way to make money quickly. You're just doing illegal shit. And they came up to me and they said, all you have to do is, all you have to do is, is, the, is criminal vernacular. It's criminal words. All you have to do is, is words of, of crime. Crime is going to be committed. All you have to do is, Take out 40k and you can keep the 10 from your bank account. Champ, I I don't need to know the semantics, the 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 what's going on to know what I'm gonna do is gonna land me in jail if I get caught. We made it to the sec uh, as soon as I left the bank, um, I gave the money to the guys at the third bank. I go in and I go to the teller, I give her my ID, and I gave her another slip to take out money and. Um, I knew right away something was wrong. I saw her reach under the desk, which I'm guessing that's when she pressed the button and she alerted the police. Um, when the bank was swarmed with police officers, I automatically knew that it was for me. Like, I felt it. And um, I got on the phone, I called my sister right away, which she was right outside with the guys in the car. And um, they left. They left me at the bank. Yeah, I was surprised they, they didn't done left you at the bank. The second I hear police pull up, boom, boom. Don't you don't need to call me. Don't lose my number. Lose my number. <laughs> you got caught. I was completely alone, two hours away from home, didn't know where I was at. I was 18 years old. Um, so that night I went to jail and um, I had a $10,000 bond. And damn, bro. Like, help me up real quick. You know what I'm saying? Hook me up real quick. Give me that. Where's I that was bonded out by the me. guys, but a couple days later, they were knocking at my door. 
come yeah, to find now you owe me 10k now they were trying to harm me because they thought that i had um you know, like giving them away, even though nobody else got arrested. I was the only one ever charged for the crime. It was a huge um, organized fraud ring. They had over 55 victims. One point something million dollars was stolen. And um, I, I was also a victim because I had no idea what was going on behind. What about you, Mia? What about you? How old are you, man? How old are the you? Scenes, I was just told to open up a bank account. So at the end, I was charged with organized fraud. It was a white collar crime and grand theft. Oh, we empower House those who act, crime. those who see the correlation between upswings and downswings, those who manage risk by- You can hit me with all the ads. I ain't paying for YouTube premium. Meeting each obstacle yeah. with a perfectly executed strategy. Mia, somebody told you, you can, you can make money real quick. All you have to do is uh, go to the bank and, and withdraw 40, uh, what is it, 10K, and then go to another bank and withdraw 10K. And, and when you get 40K, you can keep the 10 but we keep the 30. CME Group, where risk meets All you opportunity. have to do is... This Friday... You're making us wait. The must-see movie of the spring arrives. Oh my um, I started getting in trouble as a younger kid. Uh, nine years old was my... Yeah, I'm not saying I'm the smartest person. I'm not saying I got 20-20 hot foresight. You know what I'm saying? I can predict every move. I, I know what's going down, but... The second somebody says all you got to do is and they start talk, throwing out them big numbers, either one, they trying to scam me or two. You know what I'm saying? My first charge and they tried to take me to detention and it didn't work because you had to be 10. So from the time I hit 10 through 18, I did a decent little chunk here and there from detention. 16, I got put on state's custody. That's when I started doing drugs. I broke my wrist snowboarding at 16 years old and got addicted to pain pills. So from 16, basically till 18 through high school, I was addicted to heroin and opiates. It was constant drug test. Kept getting dirty UAs. I couldn't stay clean and sober. It was just uh, unfamiliar for me. Strangely enough, I have a scar on my right arm, if you may be able to see it. I was one of the first people to get sentenced to get an opiate blocker installed in my arm. 19 years old, um, I robbed my drug dealer's house. Nothing was exciting in the safe, unfortunately, but that's... That's, that was the crime that I had committed, was burglary of a, of a dwelling and theft. And at 19 years old, they sentenced me to prison for burglary of a, dwell, burglary of a dwelling and theft. Not the, not the amount of time. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that, those were my original charges, but it was heavily uh, drug-related leading up to that. So I started young. I started in organized crime at 12, uh, moved up, went to the service. Then I got out, then I ended up uh, being the biggest jewel robber in the United States. Robbed 15. Dallas is a customer of Morgan. Probably, they're probably going to link up. They're probably going to link up after this. I see that man itching his arm. He, he heard she stole heroin. He started... I got, you going to rip that, you going to rip that opioid charger. You going to rip that opioid blocker right out of his damn arm. He, he getting itchy. He gave 18 it. million. You bet. Hey, I was man, hooked Dallas, up with organized crime. That damn opio so, but I, when I got arrested, I got arrested with helicopters. And it was fed because the state we had, I had the mayor in my pocket. And we had the whole, the whole town who couldn't touch us. These were daytime robberies. These were, I would go into the store. I would tie everybody up. I was, you know, a professional. I knew who was coming, who was going. The cops were coming to hold everything. The people we had, boom, team, take them down, boom. We never gagged anyone because we don't want to murder anybody because if they puke, they, they die. So we didn't do that. So, if, you know, we got him in there. I mean, there's so much, it was a robbery. I had dynamite and everything, but thank God we didn't use it because we were going to kidnap somebody. But we didn't because that's no statute of limitation on that crime. And then I, <laughs> even crazier, after that, I mean, I go away for not telling. So when I go away, while I'm in there, I get charged with another crime uh, for protecting somebody. And then after that, then, you know, got out, been all over. You, they gave you, they gave you another charge for not snitching? Whew, that conversation was so interesting. It reminds me of that unfortunate time that Billy Wright has unicycled to an open. Shut the hell up. Holy moly. Absolutely ruined his, ruined his thing. Well, um, as a teenager, I got into the drug game early, about 15, 16 years old. You know, I lived in 
Uh, with my mom, I have four sisters, I'm the only boy. Well, I watched my mom struggle all her life, trying to take care of five kids by herself. So um, when I was in the streets hanging out, like the drug game was easy. We just stand on the corner hanging out. So I'm hanging out with them, but I ain't making no money. So I decided I'm gonna start hustling along with them. And then we started hustling, we started making money and we started getting good at it. And we just got more into the game from weed to, to serving cakes, cocaine, and then crack. You know, so with that came, a lot of altercations came, a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. Uh, a month after I got out of prison, I got locked up for a drug case uh, previously. Then I bailed myself out. Then when my friends got murdered. When he got murdered, I didn't get no therapy for it, nothing like that. So I was kind of you know, traumatized by it. And I was angry, I was hurt. And I had a mindset of that nobody else in my, my friends would get killed. Or my it's a fact that 90% of all crimes started with doing drugs. At least 90, I'd say. You know what? You know what? You do got a point there. You do got a point. Because, at, at, you, you know what I'm saying? All these crimes do got something in common. They do got something in common. It's drugs being the mixture. People ain't even the right state of mind. So I was dealing with that kind of issue, and then we got into another issue with some other guys at a skating ring where we got into a shootout. I wound up killing one of the guys who was shooting at us. That's and, true. Uh, now that I think about this, I was literally trying to think about there's rarely a crime where drugs ain't involved. You know? There's rarely a crime where, where people are just doing it where drugs, money ain't involved. Um, I was on a run for like three weeks, and then I got locked up. And when I got locked up, I was charged with a slew of charges um, that they gave us the five charges. And then I was sent to jail at 19 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. Okay, you I'm, go? a, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna switch his aim. Yeah, you to, I'm just switch. Got to. That kind of good. Good. The car accident was just him being intoxicated. This scratch on his, his friend leg, something that he kind of flicked on himself trying to get out. So I don't think he was responsible for that, but he got charged for it. I could make the argument with these two still because there was a death involved. You kind of knew something was fishy, obviously. <laughs> Nobody just gives people 10 grand. <laughs> and yours was not willfully like, hey, I want to hurt my best friend. Obviously, no, but the result was your best mm. friend died. I would actually switch these two down here because the guy you shot was just as likely to have shot you. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't enough money to come into your community and alleviate poverty, but there was enough money to put you in prison for I don't know how long. So there's unlimited funds to lock people up, but not enough funds to lift people up. Mm -hmm. But just like whether you were the victim or the perpetrator that day was a coin toss. Mm -hmm. This gentleman traumatized I don't know how many people for the for the life, especially in these particular circumstances, where that the the guy you killed was sort of consenting to the risk, he was shooting at you, right? Mm -hmm. I would put you at the front. Interesting argument. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree because it was self defense, and he tied people up, and that that is traumatizing. I didn't hurt anybody though. I robbed you. You did. It's our opinion. No, no, it's our listen, opinion. It's, I, listen, you did. I, I get it. I get it. Listen, it's, that's traumatizing. You probably gave someone PTSD. A hundred percent, I did. A hundred percent, I did. So what is that? How well, many people is that? But you, know, you got no, I tried over a hundred people. But the okay. Uh, go back. Just just go back. Just go, the, just go back. Just, just, listen, just, I didn't rob old people. I protected old people. I listen. Although Wait, what I did was for you. Who's first? Who's first for you? It's wrong. Mm -hmm. There is a code I lived by. I never hurt somebody unless they were in my business. Mm -hmm. If you were in the drug business or you were in the loan chalking business. But you were saying you were tying people up and robbing them at their store. What, what business am I in? The bookmaking business, then, you know, you're fair game. Or if they were in the jewelry store. Well, those jewelry stores <laughs> didn't pay protection. There's a whole thing. Whoa. Your mom is a whole different animal how we were. Because they weren't in. I'm not saying right. Again, I changed my life. I don't think you take responsibilities so. for your actions. <laughs> Especially if they stay in the jewelry business and now every day when they go to the black, work in the profession that they've had the for first? their entire life, they're going to think it's today the day. It's today the day. Listen, they so couldn't get one person to come testify against that, me. Not one. You know why? Because they were scared. No. You were in the mob, No, bro. listen. You, you're not. You're wrong. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. And I mean so You this. think the black guy's first? This guy murdered somebody. He didn't murder nobody, but he robbed a lot of mans them. He robbed a lot of mans them. He said, he's a nice guy. I robbed a store in Sarasota, Florida. Great store. 
Norm, old people come in. I put them down nicely. I tie. I didn't even tie them up. You tie oh. I ain't never known nobody to rob my ass and then me to say, oh, yeah, that man, he, you know, you know what? He a nice dude. Because when he took my shit, he actually put me down nicely. He, he, he sat me down. He scratched my back. He pat my head and took my. Oh, no, 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 no. I was. <laughs> Listen, come down nice. I had I had the two people in the store tied up. He made a nice bow. The girl. Yeah. The, <laughs> I, I used to do it in a suit and all. They buzz. Oh, here's people. I'm already robbing it. We went in, took them down. I let them in. I opened my jacket. I said, you're in a robbery. The old lady goes, I go, no, 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 no. You come with me. I put them in a chair. I put another one. No, no, no trauma. I no said to him, no no trauma. listen to me. No listen, trauma. Dog. He said, no trauma. He said, no trauma. He said, just, just run me your pockets. Do you work? Yeah, listen, I work. I said to him, I said, don't do anything. Give what about you, me? You working? And we're out of here. Just get up and call the police. He said, okay. In the newspaper the next day, it said, they were nice guys. They had a story. Sure. Old people say anybody who nice. Anybody say anybody who nice. Anybody that interact with anybody old, they think they nice. So they're dead. But who? She was still traumatized. No, she, <laughs> why are you doing? See, there's where snowflakes do it. And I'm not caught. Studying, I'm studying. See, I'm studying too. I, I work and I and I go to work uh, and I study. It's okay, it's my opinion. I do some of this. Again, good. No, I agree. What you studying to be? But we gotta what get you studying tough. to be, Mia? What you studying for? We gotta get where you, listen, things happen to all of us. He had addiction issues. He turned around, he didn't fucking say, oh, oh me, I it, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stop this shit and you fucking change. I, preach. I love people who change, I changed. Mm -hmm. when, you're in, when you're in that criminal lifestyle, to you at that time, you thought you were being gentle with them, you were being nice, I didn't gag them, I didn't do this. They're living a regular people yeah. life. Mm -hmm. That is traumatizing. If you are a regular old couple cruising through the jewelry yeah. store looking for your new watch or whatever, dude rolls up, hey, let me gently tie your ass up. That's pretty rough <laughs> for them. Not, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, at the, that, their psyche yeah, at that point, it's rough. You don't have to say it's, it's so rough. nice, you know? <laughs> okay, but, uh, you listen, I'm so, I tied up an asshole once and he deserves to be tied up. Okay, okay but you but opened th your jacket to flap. He deserved to be tied up. Man, what do you mean? Stop robbing me. Sports science. Sports science. What's that about? What's that? What, what's sports science? Guns? Okay. Just like, yeah. The, well, it was a BB gun. I never used a real oh, gun. They didn't God. know that, though. Right, but yeah, right. they didn't There's know. There's trauma. But I, think I don't <laughs> use guns because they get a lot of trauma. You have a strict moral code so that you can sleep at night, but it's, it's within the mindset of, cr like, the criminal lifestyle. Exactly. Like, you're right, you traumatize them less than you could have. And that's good, but <laughs> but you inflict you did hurt them. I think you're justifying it so that you can be at peace with yes. yourself. And although you've changed, I still feel like that's traumatizing to people. I feel we like a lot of people are justifying their crimes to be at peace with themselves. Fluent, crazy, violent world. No, but most uh, people don't, man. Most yes, people they don't. do. I, I most don't people anymore. do. No. Yeah. No. Most people do. Listen, you said you had the mirror in your pocket. I can infer from that a lot of things about your connections and your power in that city at that time. Yeah, but why is he doing grunt work if he had the mayor in his pocket? It's very hard to explain. Yeah, it sounds like the science, the science of sports. What are you doing? Like, is it like, is it like bio, like physical biology of people doing sports or? I don't know. You don't, Which you don't would maybe deter right. people from wanting to testify. Yeah, I get you. You're hundred percent right. But when you have parties in cities and you take care of the city and the people there, the poor people, never paid for a thing. We, I did things for that town. Now to this day, there's pictures and they talk about because I help families with kids, give them sneakers. Do it. I don't understand, bro. Just I don't know. Stop trying to do you know, a lot of shit. I feel like if if you, I'm like I can't like you can't get into the mindset of what a person is thinking in the moment. You know what I'm saying? It's like how to do uh, uh what was it? How to do shit? What? How to do the best? Oh, how to do the best in sports? Oh, 
Yo, right steroids, oh, good. bro. People you just steroids think of, and you exercise, bro, you're gonna do you're gonna outperform everybody. Crime you're a beast. Is, oh, that guy, you know, he's throw him away. But you know, there's a lot of economy in crime. But they say the ends don't justify the means. You're number one. Oh, I'm 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 like I'm yeah. something. I personally best. don't think oh. that Larry Yeah, like I said, steroids, man. Use steroids, use um cheat. Cheating is probably the best. Takes thing responsibility for his actions. Like movements and rituals and oh my bad. I think he just thinks that it was just nothing. So I feel like if if it presented itself, he's probably likely to reoffend. In my opinion. Seriously, I gotta switch with him. No, you're number one. No, you're number one. Yeah, yeah no, you're definitely, definitely, definitely at the front. Even though this was just cannabis, if you're at the level of like. Planes. <laughs> planes and stuff. Like, that is stuff I've only seen in the movie Blow, man. Like, that is like Hollywood to me. And like, the level of profit you are making off that, that's some crime. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, like, <laughs> that really crime. is like, you know, organized crime to the highest degree. So and you're so, to like the lowest power and he was to the highest degree on marijuana? I mean, he was making, I don't know. Did you say how much money you were making? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how much money were he, he said, hey, how much? Yeah. Mm, a lot of money. Motherfucker did not want to give an answer. He, he's he living off that money still. He living off that money still. He's saying, y'all ain't going to take my money, bro. Yeah, like right. Lots of money. <laughs> right. I'm just thinking if his was more serious than yours, because you were how old? 18. When you're that young, it's so hard to conceive of like abstract consequences, which is what, like you had no idea how much time you were facing. Yeah. I see, it was more organized than mine. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, one takes a small army and one takes one person. So, so you were you doing it for a lot of years. My crime took one day, that's it. <laughs> that's it was what like... I'm saying. <laughs> but it would have took more than one day if you didn't get caught. Maybe, right? you would have continued and continued. You're right, you're right, till maybe. Until you, you drained the account. How long was your organization? I don't know, 10, 12. Oh, yeah. Switching the, I, I, I'm sure. I, I, the way I think, the I way feel, I, I feel like every crime, every criminal continues their, cr like, it's it's rare, you know what I'm saying, if you don't, Yami a little, Yami a little stupid. Yami is a little stupid. Yami is a little stupid. We're not disagreeing on that. Like, that's why you don't see me talking, like, half the time. Because it's like, even when she's talking, because it's like, bro, when am I even, like, what am I, what is, what am I going to say to that? It's like, it's so, like, I don't know. But, yeah, it's, if you didn't get caught, right here, right here. Right here. Right. The way I think about caught. it is, you had the most serious crime, mm -hmm. all right? In self-defense? Especially when it comes to a human life. Mm. And it was an accident with what happened with you, but there was a human life involved. So you would be next to him. You know, as- I don't see it that way. I don't see it that way. I feel like, I feel like what they were doing were on two completely different levels. You know what I'm saying? I feel like what, I don't know. As far well, as we'll, serious we'll, crimes, we'll, as far as serious stuff went down. You're still number one. You're still, you're still, still number one. Oh, come on. <laughs> Nobody moved you. <laughs> trying to get ahead of it. But I just so profoundly disagree with that. I'm, I, you're using this framework of like human life, I that, only that look being at, the end all, all be all, if there was like, a death, but circumstances matter. It kind Intent of is the matters. end all be all though. Oh, like, uh, the, 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 he said she was 18 and they're using the argument because you're 18 and no, no better. I'm saying, I, I would say if she was, I don't know, I would say even if she was 16, 14, um, if you're 14, you definitely don't know no better. Somebody told me at 14, all you have to do was take 40K out the bank and, and you can keep the 10K. You tricked me successfully. I'm not going to hold you. She says, oh, no, I was 18 and still like, dude, I don't know. I don't know. So you can recover from a so financial. Using the argument that she was 18, she didn't know no better and that um, like she didn't have... I I will say this. At 18, 
it even like she might have known it was a crime, but she wouldn't have like the full conceptuality of like the extent of what her crime would be. You know what I'm saying? Or how much time she would get or something like this, which she only did a day in prison. So because she got bailed out. Disaster. You can recover from, you know, someone robbed me. You can't recover from death. So that's why there's a little okay. bit more seriousness. Okay. To no, okay. They okay. She. But they didn't say how long she was sentenced. Don't get a chance anymore. The day before, it could have been Justin middlemanning me the gram, and I overdosed for the 13th time. Okay, that is a coin flip mm -hmm. of a circumstance. But the it was still stance she's taking is insane. What is this stance? I feel like she's getting way emotional because it was her best friend, so I understand why she's getting emotional. If they charge you, I'm not saying I believe in the charge at all. Nobody there has, you know, had people charged with losing a life. You did. Mm -hmm. So he's got a point that being up, up here, you should go here. You know, move up, move up, move up. This man wants to be, he wants to be in the back so bad. He wants to be in the back so bad. It is, like, unbelievable. Larry, you're not in the back. You're not in the back. You're not in the back. If you're doing mafia shit, you're not in the back. But I was doing shit to help out the... No. No. Robbing people are is bad. Stop doing robberies. You're affecting multiple people. <laughs> oh, nah, bro. Larry, stop trying to justify your shit, bro. I think you you should be on the end. And you should be here. I don't, like, I don't no, agree with that. I don't that. feel like self-defense should, should be the worst crime. I would definitely kill somebody if they're shooting at me. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But, I would, yeah. but what I led care. up to him shooting at him? Like, he's in, that, he's in that world. They're going after each other, so they know that, right? Okay, but the people he tied up weren't in that world. He needs to That's be why I'm front. with you. I'm, no, I can I make the argument that dude's down here. He's up front, I would the say. The red is number red one, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He tied up, he admitted to tying up over Do I have to move? That's pretty Do I have to move? I think Pops and um, Nike should 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 switch spots. Oh, me, me and Pop. No, not no, you. You're, no, you're, 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 you're good. You're good. <laughs> you're good right there. So Hi, Pops. you. He's good. Selling weed? Are you serious? My man was just my man was just trying to the, you know what I'm saying hustle. Wow, who put my this in here? Yeah, I mean, put my man no, over there. He's down with me. It's down with me, bro. Yeah, switch. Bro, you want me? Yeah, you can't be more serious okay. but then i wait no man you i can't be in front of, in front of you yeah. yeah okay i mean this is debatable but again no he's he's totally on the other end of this man <laughs> you got he had no life lost i feel like that, that looks that, good that's just we, we don't know that pop go down here man we don't, yeah, <laughs> we don't know that we don't know that so right back, man, right after, he, man won't, won't let us know how much play he making, no, bro. Oh, no, no, the girl. Well, know he was... Come on, she knew more than she said. Go to the back. <laughs> she knew more than You go to the back. Said. She knew more. You don't like Listen, me. You're not getting 10 it's grand okay. out of 40. He had a 10-year organization flying planes and drugs into another country. You said serious you serious? <laughs> that is serious. Wait a minute. He's helping people. You are taking people's life savings. All what right. happens when they take the money out of the account? Insurance. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. they do have insurance. They do have insurance. If you... If somebody were to take money out of my account right now, I would be insured to get that money back. All the time? Yeah, FDIC uh, yeah. yeah, they do. For banks, they most likely do. I think it's up to like, I don't even know. It's up to some crazy amount, like 500K or some shit. So, yeah, all the time. up to yes, 250K. He got his yeah, money back. Yeah, 250K. I was, I was half, you know what I'm saying? 250. That's what that's she did. That's, thank you to the FDIC. I also feel like you need to be Yeah, but she more. was taking 10K at a time. She was taking 10K at a time. So if more than what I would say 10, 250k came out your a bank account out. I, I mean at, at that at that point, yeah. Or just I because know. like that's some pretty serious uh, criminal activity. <laughs> you ask me, <laughs> even if it's just with weed. All right. So I put I put. Yeah, I want to say drunk driving is above delivering weed to different countries, bro. You like right after her. Oh. After her. Or yeah. Her? Yeah. Like right, right here. Yeah. Right there. Hello. <laughs> Are you guys sure this is your final ranking? Yes. yes. No. <laughs> bro, I'm, bro. Oh my God. Like, Chad, I'm so sorry about these ads, bro.
But God knows I ain't paying for YouTube premium. Acorns is built to put investing at the center of your money. Acorns. God Run knows I ain't paying for YouTube premium. In seventh place, we have Zane. Zane, you are in sixth place we have wait we're trying to guess how many how many times how long they were sentenced dude like if we're trying to guess how long he was sentenced the black guy's first bro what what <laughs> united states come on now in fifth place i thought we were trying to guess the seriousness of a crime in fourth, Camille. In third, we have Will. Oh my gosh, I was wrong. I was wrong. In second, we have Larry. Wow, old man. Wow, old timer. Wow, you were not selling weed, bruh. He was selling fent, bruh. And in first, we have Richard. Bro, y'all were selling uh, fent, For bro. DUI with injury, I was sentenced to two years uh, without oh, a license, God. three months a of rehab, and three months of DUI classes. For burglary of a dwelling and theft, I was sentenced to zero to five years in state prison. How much did you serve? Because of mitigating circumstances, I was pled down to conspiracy to distribute heroin and sentenced to five years. For organized fraud and grand theft. Right. You know, I was sentenced to six shit. years in state prison. For G United States does not give a shit. Murder in the third degree, I was sentenced to 15 to 30 years. For RICO, uh, organized crime, and uh, Hobbs Act robbery, I was sentenced to four 12-year sentences. I was charged with conspiracy to traffic, trafficking, and racketeering for cannabis, and I was sentenced to 98 years. Jesus Christ. On a, on a reverse thing. Jesus Christ. Je 98 years for weed? He was United States. When it comes to, let me tell you, Mia. When I tell you, Mia, do crime anywhere else but the United States. The United States loves to lock people up. That, that's what we we love locking people up. Let's share. Damn, how much time you guys actually served? Okay. Other, how much time you guys actually served? Uh, I spent five days in jail. Yeah. Between Ju Jesus Christ. juvenile detention, wilderness, foster care, all that stuff included. Jail. No, no, no. We just meant jail time. We just meant jail time. We're not talking about foster care. We're not talking about, we're not talking about the time you got sentenced to detention. We're not talking about the time you were pitting time out. We're talking about just jail, jail detention, all that stuff. Um, the longest one time stretch I did in prison was 18 months, but I've done roughly five years total. They sentenced me to 18 months contingent upon completion of the HOPE program, which was like a drug related program. I completed that program. They Narcotics time. I served four and a half years. They gave me a much lower sentence. So they basically, you basically served your whole time. I was able to, to beat the drug delivery resulting in death uh, because the prosecutor said I did not meet the typical definition of a drug dealer. And again, because my uh, friend's mom was opposing the prosecution, they sort of dropped it to the minimum that w they mom. could without making it look like there was extreme sentencing disparities. Um, I served four and a half years. Um, oh, so basically, I got basically out on probation, time. violated my probation. I got sent back and did around nine months. I was sentenced to 15 to 30 years, but I wound up getting 10 years suspended uh, for the conspiracy. Okay. And I served 10 to 20 years. 10 years in prison, 10 years on the street. I ended up doing uh, four 12s duty. You have to do the 12, because I, I lost good time. Yeah. Uh, total, 14 and a half years with 12 straight on the Fed bit. Man, my time in prison was pretty wild because I spent three years in the hole, over a year straight in the hole. I was abused, strapped down, naked, beaten, peed on uh, by guards, all documented, and uh, that's for all fighting the abuses of prison. Had a rough time, but I did quit, got my law degree, and now I, I help a lot of people. I've spent 32 God calendars day for day. <sighs> before. 32 years? Mia, do not go to prison in the United States. We are, United States love to lock people up. They love it. I would put you with the They front. love it. They love it. They love it. When it comes to locking people up, oh my gosh, bruh.